A response video to Azranok and Matt uh, regarding what Matt calls the Bio Wars. <laughs> uh, so we're all just, this all just useless drama, pointless, um, just, just for entertainment purposes. That's what philosophy for is. Apparently it's all about entertainment. Um, yeah, I mean, Azranok says it's all about technology. That's what science is. It's all about technology. It's not, it's about getting technology. It's about better tools. It's about better toys better stuff to feed the animals it's not about educating animals it's not about enlightenment it's not about understanding who the fuck we are and what we are and what the universe is and all that shit it doesn't really matter how they you know that doesn't have to be accurate all it has to do is be functional all it has to do is build new technology so if we can build some new antennas for ourselves and shit and you know extra arms or whatever we need technology wise great Oh, uh, well, anyway, I'll, I won't, I'll get to the arguments. Um, so, yeah, I'll start with Astronaut first. First, yeah, I like Astronaut. Okay, I mean, come on. You know, <laughs> you can't dislike them. Philosophers are fun. Um, yeah, so, you know, no, no real harm in meant with the jokes and the nonsense. But, anyway, there is a legitimate argument here. Um, first, okay, you say uh, no one's entitled to beliefs, basically. And, and no, but you have to earn, you have to earn the right to make an argument. You have to earn, it's not even the right to make the argument. You have to have, the, the, the belief has to, has to earn its um, integrity, okay? And it does that by being made out of something real, okay? Beliefs made out of complete bullshit are different than beliefs that are hard earned. That acquire we, what's required is a, the the absorption of uh, you know masses amount of information, compiling and thought, to um, derive some good out of that. Uh, not somebody who just you know throws some bones on the ground and then says this is the truth. I mean that's bullshit. There's different sources, and it's a it's a qualitative difference, and that's what I meant by. You know, the theists haven't earned their beliefs because it's it's just pulled out of convenience. It's pulled out of nothing. Um, so it's it's bullshit. Uh, okay, and then science, you say, isn't really a search for the truth. And I say bullshit to that one again, and especially in the context of evolutionary theory. Because then you go on to say that, um, you know, the, the, the evolution... Um, the value of this theory is that it somehow produces medical technology. At least that's one of the examples you cited. I don't think uh, Darwin's theory has created any technology at all, anywhere, ever. Okay, maybe Mendel's science did. Okay, understanding genetics might be valuable. Um, there might be value in a lot of other um, concepts. But the idea of evolution itself, uh, the idea of, um, you know, starting off from a, a single organism or a group, as Darwin said, or a small whatever, and, you know, evolving the whole course, I mean, that whole story, you don't need that for any science that I know of, any, any technology discipline. Uh, there's no medicine based on evolution. I just don't buy that argument. Uh, I, I think that's... I think the, the point of Darwin is, the value of Darwin, is he gave us a look at our reality, our history, our past, and a, a context to understand who we are and what we are, okay? We could then explain the imbecility that we see, because we could understand the forces that created us, and, and the stupidity of them, and their, and their pitifully low standards in defining this thing called fitness. And uh, so, I, yeah, I just, I, the, the whole idea of, of science existing merely to create technology, um, you, that was it, you said it either, it's a new technology or the only other, other purpose is to create the foundation from, for a newer technology, for the next new technology. I mean, so, so those are your one and two? Come on. Science answers questions. That's what science is about. And, and, and so you say you, we can't cross this line. We can't, we can't cross this line and combine science and philosophy. I said there's no way you can't cross that line. It's the whole obligation. If you're going to start answering questions, you're going to be doing science. Because the only way you can answer the questions is through 
engaging in a process where you um, uh, use your logic, use your mind, your rationing, reasoning capacities to um, find uh, connections, uh, find um, reality in there, to, to model, to find these these answers to the questions, and it just, this, that's what philosophy is, that's what science is, they are the same damn thing. And so when the philosopher doesn't want to have to be limited by logic, or rationality, or reasonableness, or any of that, well then he isn't, he's a theist then, okay? <laughs> then he's a phantasmagoricalist, and he's no longer a philosopher. So if you're going to get offended, uh, you know, with science and mixing with philosophy, I'm going to get offended if you're going to mix philosophy with phantasmagorical bullshit. Um, it, it's just, it's nonsense. Uh, you, truth has nothing to do with it. You said that in there. I mean, it's, it's what, I just don't, I don't even understand how you can have a conversation with somebody who doesn't think science, uh, most of science throughout our progress, uh, was was built out of by people who were seeking answers, who were seeking the goddamn truth. I think the whole idea of philosophy and discussion and conversation is about defining truths, defining, um, under, you know, analyzing, dissecting, um, you know, taking this thing apart and figuring out how it runs and what we're here for and how to ma maximize our existence here, not only as individuals, but as uh, our impact on the rest of the world because it all means something because we can acquire an understanding of that meaning through science and philosophy um, and you said something about you brought the matrix for whatever reason I, I'm not for the matrix I'm for virtual reality and you said it's not even interesting well I think it's incredibly interesting okay it can be um, very empowering for something called a consciousness and so if you're going to take what a consciousness is seriously um, there's no reason not to have a conversation about taking the consciousness out of this limited, this, you know, putrid construct that nature provides, these limited senses, this limited reality, this physical burdens, these, this machinery, and elevating it to a place where it can live in any world, in any universe, including if it chooses a mundane, stupid, burdensome, gravity-laden shithole. Um, so whatever, it's, it is an interesting conversation at least. <laughs> so that's kind of bullshit. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. And, you know, I'm not for, you know, a Gary world or whatever, you know, yeah, it'd be nice if people were less, they had less um, differences to uh, find reason to kill each other about and all this other crap that people go through because of all these differences. And certainly the extreme differences would be nice to get rid of. I mean, it is pretty incompatible to have people who are getting the truth from, you know, tree bark and people who are getting the truth from thousands of years of hard experimentation and discovery. Um, yeah, that creates a fucking problem. Uh, and it's, it's not good for the human condition. Uh, but I'm not against human diversity. I mean, stick anything you want up your fucking nose. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I'm okay with it. Cool. Um, I'm just going to say I'm not going to celebrate it. I mean, it's human bullshit, and that's all I meant by it. We're all psychological animals, and, and we have a, an intelligence that's built on top of that psychology. And um, I have more respect for the intelligence than the bullshit animal psychology because that's all it is we we're just with the animal psychology is what makes us capable of all the stupid human tricks and it'd be nice if we get beyond the bullshit and actually live lives that were more productive and constructive and by just understanding the beast we can do that we can feed the animal we can entertain the animal in in much more efficient and elaborate ways and we don't have to make less life less rich. We don't have to take the flavor out of it. We just have to be rational enough to understand that um, there's a balances here. There's causes and effects here. And that there's efficiencies that can be built into the systems of how we feed these animals. But that's all it is.